Squee a ditch. Welcome back to our farm here again. So we're two, three months into breeding season now at the minute. And I have to say it has been the driest summer that we've ever had since we started snail farming. And for Ireland, that's saying something. We've had a very hot and dry summer all throughout summer and for Ireland that never happens. I know Europe has got way hotter weather for longer periods than we have but even for Ireland this is not normal. So we're finally getting that drop of rain now again which is badly badly needed. So everything now is starting to just go boom on the farm at the minute. So snails have been sleeping an awful lot this summer because it's just been too hot and too dry. So during the day, you would never see them. They're all sleeping out of the sun. So this summer hasn't been a favorable summer for them, but now we're back to good old Irish rain. They're all starting to come back out. So now they're finally getting busy and in the throes of passion as we speak. So we have another month or so left of breeding season. We have a frightening amount of snails that are already pregnant so with this damp lovely weather now you'll see all them laying eggs in the next couple of days so we're going now to get a bust of babies hatched in the next couple of weeks with this wet weather coming back in again we kind of needed this weather all throughout summer but we didn't get it but we're getting it now so the next couple of weeks are going to be very busy and in about two or three weeks time there's going to be a frightening amount of babies arriving on the farm so if we turn the boards around and see what's happening behind the boards, you'll get to see all the tiny, tiny, tiny babies. Yes, one here, one here. See how small they are? They are absolutely tiny. So these are all the babies now coming through this year, which is always the nicest sight to see on the snail farm. And when you look for them on the timber, you can always find them because they're there during the day sleeping. But when you try to look for them on the green, it's very hard to find them because they are so, so small. But we'll have a look now here and you see what I mean when I say how hard it is to find them on any veg that is normally grown. So if we move this board now out of the way and we get in to have a look, we'll be able to go through now here and see any tiny, tiny babies. You see them here now? They're that small and that tiny. They're all over the place, but it's very hard to find them. Even down here now, you see, very hard to find them on any green stuff that's grown because they're just so small. So that's where timbers come in very handy so that they're on the timbers that are easy to get, easy to harvest, easy to feed, easy to work with, easy to do everything with. So that's why we use so much timber all around the farm it's just to make our life easier and when you go through the timbers we have so many snails now like this so these snails here now are all fully pregnant you can see by the swelling going around the edges that these are all busting now with babies so we have a frightening amount of these snails now around and with the lovely damp ground now that we have with the rain all these now are going to lay and on average they're going to have a hundred babies a piece on average so i won't disturb them anymore i'll let them get on with it and they'll go off now when them eggs are ready and formed and they just bury into the ground lay the eggs come up cover over the hole and there are your new babies that are already in the ground waiting to hatch up and they're the babies that you see all around the farm now here at the minute so today we have help with alex and grace <laughs> with grace having the pinkest hat that i've ever seen <laughs> So they're going to do a bit of feeding now here on the farm. There isn't that much to do, but we just top up. But because with the rain, they're going to eat a bit more now. So I've got help today. It's great when you get kids growing up on the farm. It's 
to sneeze and then eat that. Of course you can. Oh my god, I found it. Perfect. Okay. No better if I lie down. Look at this. So guys, whoever is watching this video has to watch my dad's video a lot. And and he's a good YouTuber. So keep watching him. So what today's job is going to be all about now is we're back in the pony tunnel now just to do a bit more work. This is last year's rape that was planted. This is this year's rape that was planted. So rape does what rape does. This is a year old now so it's starting to die back and go that bit yellow. So we're going to rip last year's rape out before it goes back to stock and gets just horrible looking. So we clear all that off now, we'll replant that and get new rape into it. So we'll get it looking like the rape here. So we'll just clean off this, tidy this up now, get all the dying stuff out and refresh it back up. Okay, everyone, I will admit this is bringing back flashes of torture that we went through years ago doing snail farming. Going through rape, taking all these snails from all these leaves and collecting them and harvesting them all the way through. So this is bringing back horrible memories doing this. When we first started snail farming, long time ago, feels like a lifetime ago now, all the mistakes we made at the start, and believe me, I could write a book on all the mistakes that we made. This was one of them. Planting rape and come harvest time and collection time, we were going through it, taking snails off all this, down your hands and knees, so doing this now here again on a small little bit is bringing back memories of the torture that we all went through because we're years and years moved away from all this hardship. Where we are now is brilliant. Back where we started, we had to learn the hard way. Because we did it and it was brand new, we didn't know we were making mistakes at the time. It took quite a few years to piece all this together. But yeah, this was one of them. Going through all this, collecting snails of every leaf, collecting them all. This isn't too bad. Try doing this out in the field where it is way bigger. So yeah, glad we're not doing this anymore. And our life is so much easier now with the way we work it and with the way we harvest now compared to the old stuff like this that we put ourselves through at the start. So this is a reason, one of the reasons why we don't plant rape seed anymore as the plant of vegetation. Rape will grow wild nuts 
crazy you'll have to tap it down cut it down it's just a constant work in progress so now we don't use rape on our farm here anymore that's long gone we have different now plants that work better and make our life a hell of a lot easier and way easier to manage so snails are happy and we're happy so we have a nice bit of clearing done here now so we have all this now cleared off all the feeding boards on top cleaned off all the timbers cleaned off so that's ready now for planting so we'll just put these timbers here now back up then we'll dig our trench going around the back put down our seeds and that will be us off walking that then for a while all this now is back to normal so we're just going to get a trench now with a shovel and just dig a little trench along the middle here and we have our seeds here in the bag that we'll get to put them down and a bit of water and we're done for today trench dug out seeds time <laughs> One side done and complete. Next stage now, tomorrow is going to be this side here and just take out this last year's rape that's dying back. This is all perfect as what rape should be. So we'll just clean up this now. So this corner done for today. We'll start working on this one out tomorrow. I will get this one in here finished off so we'll go and get this side here done now so this is it now cleaned off replanted that's this year's rape so that's still good so all they're now cleaned off and replanted for anyone new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below that's the only way you're going to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here behind the scenes on our farm Thanks. And that's another job now, done and complete. The difference between a fully mature snail and a tiny, just hatched baby snail. Wanna see the difference? Watch this. So, mammy snail, fully mature, won't get any bigger, perfect size snail. Then we come to our little baby snail, which is, he, he's so small I can't even get him, is this size. Same snail, same species, baby and mammy. So it will take, it'll take this little fella here, seven to eight months to be this size. So they're fast little growing buggers. So from here to here, our farm, we're running at around seven to eight months to get them fully big and fully mature. So that's just the difference between baby snail and fully mature snail. There is a huge, huge difference in the two of them. After getting a lot of rain here in the last couple of days now in the west of Ireland, it's that time of year for it. But when we get a lot of rain, it means a lot of snails on the move. Look at this. So 
So this is the weather that we wanted in summertime. This damp, wet weather. We didn't get it. We had a very dry summer. So now that we are finally getting the wet weather, which in Ireland coming into winter now, so we get the rains, all snails are all out and about happy. And this is what they should have looked like all throughout summer. So we'll wrap up this video now here for this week. Thanks a million for watching. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. See you soon guys.